Hey everybody. All right, so whew, May 24th. That was the last time I did a video before the holiday weekend. So I guess it's been a little over a week. All right, so I do wanna write down what time it is that I'm doing this. We're gonna say 4.30. And I'm doing my hobo YouTube video. All right, so it's going pretty good the way I've been doing it. And I need to get a tray down here so I can keep track of that I'm in the right spot. Because otherwise it's kind of hard. If I line it up down here, keep myself in the middle. Let's go out this way a little. There. There we go. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, this has been going well. I just, here was the weekend. I, I had all my work stuff on a different day, so I didn't put it here because it's all, it's all there. <laughs> so we can go back a little bit to the 24th. And that was here and did I decorate in here I think I'll decorate this first I have done some decorating so why don't I just move this we'll take a little bit of a look at this one and I'll get some stickers in it so I did do um, the 24th was the last day recorded. This was so messy. I, oh my gosh, what a mess. <laughs> but anyway, I used these um, stickers in here and this giraffe. I thought that was cute. I was camping this weekend. So I did some stuff, but I didn't, um, I didn't put anything else in here. I, I guess I could have put a camping washi, but I just decided to leave it. So Thursday on the 25th, so that was actually a little over a week ago, and um, like you know, our usual time, um, Doug did get up early to go to work just because he wanted to work on the canopy, our dining canopy that we use when we're camping, and he's been trying to fix it. It, it got messed up. <coughs> Excuse me, I want to grab something. It got messed up in the wind on the, one of our camping trips last year, and oh, it's just been a struggle to get it to, you know, work. It's actually our second one in like two years, so um, we did buy we did end up buying a new one because you just couldn't get it to stay fixed. So this one we'll be sure not to leave up when it's going to be windy out. Anyway, so he did that. Let's see, what did I do? I actually, I went to work um, where I go in three days a week. Um, at 7.50 I got there and I did both my that work there as well as some work for the company at Jet Launch, which is my full-time job, job and I did some reading for my seminary class. And then at 12.30, I met with one of our pastors, Pastor Morgan, um, for lunch at Panera. And she treated me, and we had a nice hour-long visit. And I just went home after that. So I got home at like 2.30 and caught up on work. And that's when I recorded a 40-minute YouTube video. And I had coffee. I watched a YouTube video. After I was all done, made supper from leftovers. So we had vodka spaghetti sauce with um, meat and then sauteed veggies and noodles. And then Doug um, stopped at Aldi before getting home. So he must have got, gotten to get the rest of our groceries that we needed for camping. And then we ate and watched the news. And then he had his online Bible study and I watched TV. And we went to bed around 10. And the next day was the start of the long Memorial Day weekend. And really, it was beautiful weather. Usually, it's cold and rainy and stormy on Memorial Day here in Minnesota. 
very few day times years has it been not been like cold weather and so it was nice not to have to have absolutely perfect weather no rain just gorgeous beautiful temperatures and blue skies so and a little breeze so it was perfect but anyway I got up at 4 30 um I think I was just eager to get going and we, even though we were leaving late because we had to wait for Sadie to get out of school because she was going our granddaughter was going with us so um I just had my quiet time, had some cereal, watched some YouTube, and caught up on work. And then Doug got up like at 7.20, and then I made my new paper dolls order, sticker order with Rachel. And then I prepped for the day and started packing. And then Rachel picked me up at 10.30 and we had brunch at Perkins. And we shopped at Home Goods, and I got some stuff for the kitchen. And then back home at 12.15 and she dropped me off and then I finished work packed I watched some hometown cha-cha-cha Netflix that's a Korean uh, drama and then um, and I did that till Doug got home and then we loaded up the trailer and we got to Rachel's about 3 30 and <clears throat> just had to wait for Sadie so we pulled out about four o'clock and we stopped at McDonald's close to the campground and we were only like a half hour away so it wasn't that far and we got ice cream cones, and then we pulled into the park at five, unpacked, settled in. Sadie headed out right away to the playground. Um, she had her bike, and the playground was in, within sight. So that was that was really nice for her. It was really easy to get over there. We had hamburgers for supper, and then I journaled a little, and I called my mother-in-law, and then we had a campfire and camper pies. And Sadie was out playing until it was like 9 o'clock. And we went to bed at 10.30. And then um, the next day, the high was 76. And the high was 79 on Saturday. So beautiful weather. And it actually got down to 44 on Friday night, early Saturday morning. So we hadn't turned the heat on because we didn't know it was going to be so cold. And... <laughs> We got pretty chilly, but that was okay. I got up at 6, and I got a campfire and coffee going. Enjoyed that. Had my quiet time. And then Doug got up some at 7.45, and Sadie got up at 8, so I made them hot chocolate. And I made our breakfast, which was French toast and sausage. And we ate around the campfire about 9 o'clock. And then um, Sadie and I took showers, so Doug cleaned up the dishes, and we did... He did some trailer maintenance, and then he went to town for some errands. So Sadie played off and on um, with kids, and I journaled and I played some card a card game with her. And I've heard of it, Exploding Kittens. She loves it. And then um, Dad got back about 1.30, and we had lunch. Um, he had a sandwich and chips and dip, and I had raw vegetables and a slice of turkey lunch meat and a slice of cheese. For some reason, I wrote the word ham here, but it was not. It was cheese. Sometimes. <laughs> ah, a slice of cheese. All right, there we go. Then I cut up mangoes for Sadie and I, and um, Doug went geocaching, and at 2.30, so I did some supper prep and journaled, and Sadie played um, all over the place and spent a little time in the trailer, and Doug got back at 4. I finished supper. We ate at 5, and I, ma I, um, I finished supper. I made chicken tacos and guacamole, and we cleaned up the dishes, walked a little, journaled. Doug got a late camper going at 7.30 and chopped some wood. And then when the fire was not nice and hot, we had s'mores because Sadie, like, she's looking forward, looking forward to s'mores, like, the entire time that we're camping. And then Sunday, it got to 48 at night and 79 in, during the day. And this time I got eight and a half hours sleep and got up at 6.15. And my leg was just throbbing. I don't know, I was really having trouble with my leg. That's finally stopped, but for like two weeks it was sore, so it was just throbbing. And finally, I got back to sleep. And then 
I had got once I got up, I did get a campfire going and coffee and relaxed. Started my quiet time. Doug got up at 8:30 and Sadie at 8:45. And I was gonna bake cornbread, and then Doug was making um, bacon and some eggs. But we couldn't get the oven working. Last year when we went on vacation, it took him like an hour, but we finally got it to work. So we thought it would work this time, but it did not. So he's got to work some more on that. So I actually made the um, cornbread in the stovetop <clears throat> in a cast iron skillet. And that worked out pretty good. The whole bottom was burnt, but the, you know we just left that part. So it was okay. But yeah, um, it was still good. And, um, let's see. Oh, then Doug, okay, so I cleaned up after we ate, and he, and got ready for the day, and Sadie, um, kind of stuck in the trailer until noon, and then she journaled or I journaled and Doug went for a walk and then Sadie and I played four games with exploding kittens and she played at the playground. I think they were having water fights later in the day. And then Doug left at 12.30 to get his dad and went and stepmom and got them back to our campsite at 1.30. So we sat outside, we had a nice visit. He made camper pies for all of us. And then at 3.30, we all went to take them back to their place. And then on the way home, we went into Culver's and we all had concrete mixers, which is ice cream, kind of like a blizzard. And we ate those inside and then we picked up some sweet corn, got back to camp and Doug cooked steaks and I prepped um, the raw veggies and the sweet corn. And we ate at seven and then I journaled again. Doug walked, Sadie played at the playground and we had a campfire, s'mores again for Sadie and then went to bed. This, this is paper dolls. Um, that's a paper doll stickers. Um, this is not. And then Memorial, um, it was actually, it was a warmer day. It got up to 81 um, and, the, and the rest of the time, the rest of the, the week from Monday all the way through now it's just been upper 80s 90s just pretty hot anyway I got up on Memorial Day our last day of camping it's 6 30 and um, slept really good slept straight through uh, I made a campfire and coffee had my quiet time then Doug got up at 8 30 and Sadie at 8 50 and I made breakfast pancakes with blueberries and sausage and we ate at 10 o'clock around the campfire. And then Doug went for a bike ride and I cleaned up the dishes and packed up everything in the trailer. Sadie went to play. And then um, Doug got back at 12, so we finished all the packing up and we pulled out of the park at 1.30. Got Sadie home um, to her house at two. And we got back to our place at 2.30 and unloaded everything. So while I put all that away and cleaned up, Doug dropped off the trailer where we store it. He got gas and groceries. He got a new canopy because they were on sale, a new dining canopy, so thank goodness. And I did laundry, watched some Netflix and YouTube. And then he got home at 5.30 and we just had pizza for supper, just making it super easy. And we rented a red box movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. It was pretty good. And then we had raspberries with frozen yogurt for dessert and went to bed at 9.30. So I'll show the um, camping journal pages. I don't need to talk through them because we already did that. So here we go. So here it is, Lake Elmo Park Reserve. Here's the map. Here is the big playground, and we didn't go over here, there. But here is our campsite, and then here was the little playground. And then I just showed like another campsite, camping area, and the whole park. This was to signify our cone and McDonald's. And this was uh, one of the things we used for our 
camper pies, and actually I did some stuff here. So s'mores, hot chocolate, McDonald's, this also for camper pies, because I had all, and this was from the wood that we bought, because I had that extra space, so I just tossed that all in there. And then this was this day, and the day we went home, and I didn't finish decorating, so probably the next time I go out camping, I'll put um, washi or something there. So we actually go camping in two weeks, less than two weeks, actually. Also, before I decorate that, I, I got this. It's a happy planner, but it's just notes. So it has dot grid up here and then lines here and there's three sections. And I got this for when we go to Mexico because this is what I liked. It had these rocks on here and I just love these crystals and they're on they're raw so they're not shined up. But um, they just seem to fit with Mexico and I, I stuck this charm on here. I don't know if I'm going to leave it but... My fingers were sore from moving it around, but I punched holes. And then I put these stickers on, but because they were 3D, they were starting to tear. So I just put packaging tape on them to keep them good. And then here I put some more stickers, Mexico vacation, like passport, suitcase, just kind of to set the stage. And then I'll just have sections. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, but there's, the nice thing about this is there's lots of space and if it gets really thick, um, I can just take some pages out and, and it'll be perfectly fine. Like whatever I don't use, I'll take out because this is a, for a really special trip. So that's what that is. Let me put that back. Get that out of the way. And then let's do this decorating. I have my stickers from other companies, Etsy stores and stuff in here. And this is where I keep all the Paper Doll Company Co. ones as well, which are always fun. So um, I should just go ahead and decorate. So I like to kind of match the color. And sometimes I do other things. I don't always do the Paper Doll Co., but sometimes I do. Anyway, um... So here, Tuesday the 30th, so this was like a week ago, um, we had some rain, so it made it kind of muggy, and I was back to work. So I got up at 4.30, um, Doug started his summer work hours, so he got up at 4.50, and he goes into work a little after 6, So and then he gets off an hour early at 3.30, so... Kind of started all that, and I spent actually most of the day catching up on work because it was a long weekend, and I also did some prep for our 45th class reunion. I'm helping with some of the, the invites, some stuff with that. Stopped at Target on the way home to pick up some snacks for our home group the next day, and then I watered the plants inside and out, watched some TV, prepared supper, um, Doug stopped at Sam's Club on the way home, so he got home at 5.45, so we ate at 6. I made glazed broiled salmon and asparagus, and um, we watched the news, and then Doug worked on one of the counter grills, and so I cleaned up from supper and watched some TV, had some strawberries and milk, um, and just watched some shows I'd recorded, and then on Wednesday, got up to 88. Um, got up before, had my quiet time, my workout, prep for the day, did some study for seminary, and then I got to CGI at 7.50, and I did a mix of seminary, CGI, and jet launch work. And then Mandy bought me an ice latte from Caribou Coffee, and I went home at quarter to four. That's like the best time to go home, because if I leave at 3.30 or I leave at four, there's more traffic. But if I leave right in between, it's like the sweet spot for traffic. Um, and then, let's see. Anybody got home, watched a little Netflix, prepared supper. 
Um, we had grilled pork and mashed cauliflower cooked with broccoli, watched the news, and then we went to our home group at six, um, and there were eight of us. We had two people visiting. I should bring this down a little bit. Um, two ladies visiting our group, but we had a good time. And then we got home at 8.30. Uh, I think I watched Wheel of Fortune and then went to bed at quarter to 10, so a little late. So I wanna decorate this. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I've got these new ones, so it would be kind of fun to like use one of these and then maybe use some like green flowers or something. Isn't that cute? We got those from Kawaii Pens. So they're really cute. I really like them. And so cute. All right. So I should stick something else in there. So maybe some flowers. I do have flowers. Let's see. Oh, you know what? This one may be. There's a little bit of regular, like, I like these. So let's do some of these. Especially this little pot. Okay, come on. Isn't that cute? Let me bent it down. It's kind of a washi sticker, so it's pretty tame. And looks like I got some grass. So maybe we'll put a little grass maybe over here, because then I could use some washi and I can make that look cute. So let me get out my washi, because I could put some washi under here. Hmm. This one seems kind of big. Now that I set that down, that's a little big. <laughs> Trying to figure out what would look cute on this page. Maybe this one. And it's a nice thin washi, so I think if I put it here, that would be good. And then I could just put some more things there as well. And then maybe what I'll do is just put this one up here. I don't want to bulk too much, so I'm not going to like fill everything crazy, but I do want to put just a few little cute things. So here I just, I'm going to put these different green things kind of to Bunch of plants, mostly green. Come on. Okay. This is not an easy one to get off. All right, there we go. Okay, this here, because it's taller. All right, and This one, All right, and then something smaller, maybe this fern. This would be really nice. There, I like that. That's so cute. Okay, and then I just need something here, so. some of this okay oh, I love 
up. Some of this stuff is so cute. Let's put this one over here. And then maybe a flower. Let's see. I like this flower. So I could put that right here. All right. And then do I want, I don't know if I need anything else except if I want to maybe just do this. Okay. And then another one. Okay. So this one can go here. I like that. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? All right. So if I wanted to do some washi here, I could, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. All right. So this page, I've got this. So I want to do a paper doll co thing here, I believe would be the best. So A scene for June because now we're into June so let's see hmm I could do well I could do paper doll co I have other things they have kind of a pink pink theme so, okay, here's a good one. This is a crafting one. Isn't that cute? And I can just do, because it's such a big, it's such a big scene. Okay, come on, you could do it. Oh my gosh, everything's sticking. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, here we go. I want, really want to put something down there too. But maybe what I'll do is I'll put this in the middle. Oh, come on. <gasps> Damn. Attached her body, <laughs> which is okay. I get to put her right back together. Oh my word, that was hard, you guys. Okay, a little bit, a little bit rough, but we made it. Okay, and I got all these other things here, so I kind of want to put them around, even though they're stuck to my fingers at the moment. So we're gonna create a scene here. This one, I love that. And maybe I'll just put this up here because it's so tiny. She always has these cute little like plant things. And they're so cute. And why not? I'm just gonna kind of set them around up here. Okay. And I broke off part of that one. I probably should just use, here, I should be using these tweezers because probably would be better for me if I did. All right, and then there's some more plant thingies, so I'm gonna put those up here. Okay, and one more here okay okay so then um, we have all this stuff I've got a fountain pen this is like a, a bag like the what do you call it we'll put that over here because that's part of that and then I think I can put this notebook 
pencil board. I'm not really sure what it is, but I will put a fountain pen with it. Like that. In fine for our space. And then there's this cute little planner thing. I'll just put that down by her feet with this cute fountain pen. And here we have a little cup. Oh my gosh, so many cute things, seriously. And then we got this pen. This is, um, this could go across the top. So let's do that. So it's almost like there's a bookcase up here. And here's some flowers. And then the pencils. So this could be like in the middle. I don't have to have anything, but maybe some of these pretty dots can go around. And here, there's just a few. Okay. And then this looks like a fishbowl, kind of. I, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Not really sure, so I'm gonna put it down here. And um, I think this is a plant of some kind. Not really sure. So I'll put that up here. We have another fountain pen. Oh, these fountain pens are so cute. I'm gonna put that one there. And then we have um, tassels, I think. I think they're tassels, so I could just hang them like if they're hanging. Oh my gosh, I don't know. It looks like a tassel. So let's just make them like a tassel since I'm not really sure. Okay, good enough. All right, so I could put some washi if I want. What else could I do? Maybe some flowers. Mm. Here's something. Let me see. This has some little dots. I feel like I should put some cute dots around, right? down there and then these are bigger ones but these are cute as well those there might as well put this down here okay all right so I think that's good with that. And then I'm trying to think if I have any words, but I don't think I do. So I think I'm going to just leave it really simple like this and put in a little washi. Maybe I can't remember what this is. So let me see if I can find the edge. Okay. Ah. Oh, so pretty. Some blossoms. So pretty. Okay, so we'll cut this. All right. And then, this is like that PT tape. Um, put some here, and I bet I could just put like random, like here, and I don't think I went over, no, and maybe do another random one that would be that would
would look nice. I think I'll cut some of that extra off. It doesn't look weird. I, think I could put one right here. There we go. All right, that works. Okay, so that's decorated. And then we have Friday and Saturday, and here's Sunday, so we're almost caught up. So Friday, it got up to 84, and thank goodness I could work from home. Got up at 4.30, had my quiet time, my workout, got ready for the day, and I started work at 8.20. And then at 11.15, I left to pick up my friend Marilyn. So thankfully, there wasn't a lot of work. I had to take her to an MRI appointment, and we were there from 11.45 to 2.15. And then she treated me to lunch at Perkins, so I had a chicken and grape salad on croissant and spinach and strawberry salad with walnuts. And then we stopped at Walgreens to pick up pictures I had printed, Target for a little food, the library for a book for her, and then I took her home. And I got home at 4.30, finished up work, there was very little. And then I did seminary work while I was waiting for her that two and a half hours at the clinic. Um, I got home. So, yeah, I worked for like half an hour or so. And then when Doug got home, um, he did some stuff around the property and went to Menard. So I finished work and then heated up supper. We had orange chicken and vegetable fried rice and ate at six and we watched a movie we rented Dungeons and Dragons and you know what it was it was funny it was it was really a good movie I enjoyed it got ready for bed watched some hometown cha-cha-cha on Netflix and went to bed at 11 and then Saturday got up to 88 and we both got up at 7 40 eight and a half hours sleep so wonderful had our quiet time got ready for the day Doug made eggs with nopales and veggies and for breakfast when we had that with corn tortillas. And then um, after we ate, he he's power washing, cleaning and power washing all the garages here. So there's like five or six. So he did one. And then I did the dishes. I watered the plants, filled the bird bath, did my seminary form video. And then I after I finished that, I watched some Netflix, and then once Doug finished and came back, um, then we um, went and picked up his mom. So we got like 1.30 we left, and we picked her up. Came back here, went to Kohl's. I found three shirts and a casual sundress and a summer purse, and then Came back to our place and I had we had coffee and a snack um, and we visited. Hey everybody. Oops. And um, Doug picked up our supper, which was chicken fingers, potato salad, and coleslaw from the grocery store. And then he brought back a little bit of rhubarb, the last that they had at the store. So I made rhubarb crisp for us. So we ate, we had the dessert, and then we took her home. And then we stopped at a Mexican um, grocery store by her place, and we picked up some sweet bread for breakfast and got home at 7.30. Watched Extraordinary Tourney Woo on Netflix, and then again to bed at 11 because those are the two nights I can go to bed late if I'm not too tired because there's no work the next day. All right, so let's just do this last bit of decorating. And this is another pink spread. So I am thinking, let me see, kind of like this. Oh yeah, this is very cute. That one I like a lot. And let's see what else I can find. I usually like to do two of these girls. She's sitting. I think I can make that one work. So I'm gonna try and try and make that one work. Cause I, I like that one too. I love this one, it's so cute. These washi stickers are the best because they take up 
so much less space, which is a good thing. All right, let's put her here. Oh, I just think this one is so cute. And then I think I can do her just tilted a little bit and it will be fine. All right. And then I could get some like pink flowers or something. I ended up getting some wrinkles in here because I didn't want to get go over the edge, but I think it's okay. Actually, you can kind of get them all out. There. Not too bad, actually. Oh, so cute. Okay, and I don't need those anymore. So, let's just take a quick look at the flowers. And I could, maybe below, just put some washi. This pink one is kind of cute. Actually, it's cuter here because of the color. And I think I got a better one for the other side for that coloring. Yeah, I could totally go with this one. This one's really pretty. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is so cute. All right, we're gonna put this one here. Lovely. And I think I'll put this up here just because it's so pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. I do have one last sticker washi order coming, I think. And then, oh, and one TCMC, Coffee Monster Co. sticker order coming. And then I think I'm done with orders until after Mexico, except for paper dolls. I do have that coming through Rachel, but we do that um, every, um, every month we just do a small we do a small order, so I think that's okay. This, look at this beautiful leaf that is pink. And it's so pretty. I just wanna put it right there. Yeah. And then maybe up here, I could just do something like this where it's just hanging down. Doesn't need, to, I don't need a lot on that one. And then down here, I can just do this right here. There we go. That is sufficient. All right, now we're gonna pop on over to the regular Hobonichi and see what needs to be done there. So yeah, I'm very pleased with all of this. Turned out, turned out cute. I like it, I like it all. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And I still have some time, so I will show you. Um, I have done what I've done. It's getting it's getting so fat, and there's only what three weeks, three and a half weeks left to this month. So here, let's get us caught up on the months. May done, and so far this is what it looks like for June, um, and hopefully it won't get too crazy. I'm, I'm hoping. So that was June. Okay, and then over here, we've got, this was last week. So yeah, I'm doing, so that was done. That was like the camping and everything else, uh, pretty minimal. And while I was camping, I stuck all these kits on that I had from Coffee Monster Co. to use up the springy ones. 
So I just filled things out like a crazy person. See? I mean a crazy person. For sure. <laughs> so that's that. This is kind of nuts. But anyway, I did use it. So I'm recording the Hobonichi. I think, yeah, that's for here. So I am recording that. So I am going to cross that off because I consider that done. And the orders I have left, we did groceries today, so that's done. Um, and actually I could put a grocery sticker here because we did do groceries, so I might do that. Um, yeah, we didn't, that was really it. Um, and planning, I'm planning next week um, here. So maybe I'll stick a couple Coffee Monster Co. things in here to cover that. But these are the orders I have left. I have a Coffee Monster Co., just a small sticker order. That was uh, the last subscription I paid for. Paper dolls order out with my daughter. Um, Etsy, I ordered a beautiful fountain pen and a case for fountain pens. I think it, I don't remember how many it holds, but it should hold a good portion of my pens. Anyway, it's a beautiful floret light. Oh, just a pretty green. I can't wait to show you. But I had helped the scale with um, writing some copy for her website. And so she gave me a really good discount. And so when I get that, I'm going to show that. And I'll tag her in the comments um, when I do that video. And Kawaii Pens, I've got one order out with, I think, some stickers maybe or washi tape. I can't, I, honestly, some clip things to hold the corners. I don't really honestly remember exactly what's in that one. Yeah. So I think I'll go ahead. Um, this is the present week and I will go ahead and put the groceries in. Plus I did my planning last night. So I'm going to put that here that I planned. And the only other thing was the grocery shopping, which we did right there. I kind of want to do this because we went out to eat with, we had her over to eat, so I'm going to put that there because we had lots of conversation. And then I believe... The grocery shopping. I don't know if I have grocery shopping with TCMC. I got laundry. Oh, that's cute. I gotta remember to use some of these. But I do have groceries. Yes. Awesome. Just this cute little grocery cart, which we did right after church. Perfect. And then I'm recording a video, but I'm trying to remember if I have any video recording ones. Oh, I do. I do. This is what I'm going to call for the video recording, which is right here. Okay. So what I can do is I can write um, on these. So here I will put record. Hobonichi YouTube vid e o <laughs> and then I can put grocery shopping up here groceries grocery shop at Aldi I'm going to put here supper with a bubby. And here I'll put plan next week, which I did last night when I was, we were watching something I'd already seen. So I planned. All right, good. Okay, so this is next week. I really like how this one looks. I love it. I've got all these things to do. And um, 
And also this is for the reunion. Fill the hummingbird feeder. These are the things I want to do that are on here every week. The YouTube video, the 52-7 journal challenge, faith journal decorating, which I have a terrible time getting around to, and decorate my hobo journals. I do work on that. Um, these are the, the four orders I'm still waiting for. And um, I did put my plan next week laundry so what I can do this is so much fun is laundry so I can put that here and I am gonna water my plants tomorrow as well so I should put that a different color I just want to remember to do it so water plants I'm gonna water them over here too. But I just like the whole rainbow theme. It's just pretty, I like it. Um, grocery shopping, I don't know when it will be, so I don't wanna mark it yet. Like any of that stuff until I know, but I do know that like here's, I do a workout every day laundry I'm gonna water the plants um, and I don't think I have a plant watering one for the coffee monster Co so I think let me see if maybe I've got one. Maybe I have one in here I can use. Let's see, dentist, nope. I probably used the one I had. Um, nope. I could do, here's a plant water one. Oh, and here's one for doing the bills. This is something I have to do this week. For sure. All right, let's try this. Okay, water the plants right there. Here's the pay the bills and the balance sheet. And that's a calculator right here for that. I got some homework to do. I haven't done that yet. But it's due. So it's going to be an exclamation. Oh, it's a book report. So here's a book. Here's a book. Perfect. All right. And then uh, my weigh-in day. I don't think I have anything here for that. Got my plan next week. I think that's all. You know, how many times I get stickers stuck in the wrong spots. Okay. All right, I think that's good. So that gets us um, the planning for next week is pretty much set. And then the decorating, this is just gonna be kind of a long, long video. I'll stop soon because my husband's gonna come home soon. But I like to decorate some of these pages. And I did a tiny bit here, because you know, it's all work. I decorated that with you guys, I believe. Um, and then I've got, I did a tiny bit here. This was that week. I have spaces. I put a few things in, but I definitely have some room for things. Because until I get to now, here's today, and I got the 45th reunion to work on. I've got work tomorrow. I've got uh, my next week of seminary. So yeah, there's plenty going on, but I have spaces. And I have some things I would like to do. Um, just a little bit of gluing. I don't want it to get too bulky, so I do try to be a little careful now so I don't bulk things up too much. But... Let's see. Let's just go ahead and do some of this. Because I've got all these, all these things to use. I should use some of them, right? Okay. 
So some of these might work here. We'll see. And glue and scissors. Okay. Sadie had her graduation and that was 30, no, that was this week. When was her graduation? Here was her graduation. So really I just wanted to have a little bit. Um, I don't need everything, but here it was. So I just want to take out that and stick it there. Because it was her graduation. Right? She's going into middle school next year, which is just crazy to think about. Can't even believe it. Oh, my husband got his, his passport comes tomorrow. I'm so happy. So now all we need is for Rachel and Jamie and Sadie to get their passports to come in and they did expedite those. So I am hoping they come in in plenty of time because we are leaving August 30, August 3rd. So yeah, it's, we're down to two months. So yeah, I'm gonna just leave this. Maybe sometime something will come up and I can throw something on here, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. You can see I've got space coming out my ears. Um, so let's do some things that might look pretty in here. I'm kind of looking for pink. There we go. Oh, and here's another one. This one's pinks and oranges. That's a really pretty one too. Let's do those. I just want to do two. So I'm going to do one here and I'll do this. That will be this big one. Okay. Figure if I just do a little bit of decorating, it doesn't have to be a lot. I'm trying to not bulk up too much, you know, but I do like to have just a little bit of prettiness especially on those days where the only thing on the page is my daily log. But I am liking how I'm doing it this month um, and May when I started actually, just kind of changing up how I'm doing it and doing my journal in the A6. And I am actually enjoying doing that a lot. I was gonna cut this and I didn't. Ugh. Oh well. And I, and on top of that, I put it on upside down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, dairy, 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 right? Ugh, <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. But they're just kind of pretty, huh? And I probably won't put anything here unless one small thing. Um, and we got some pages here from when we were camping and there wasn't a lot going on. So I wouldn't mind just doing a little bit like this. These colors seem to go really good. Good. So cute. I love that. I think I can, I think we can, yeah, I don't have to. I didn't finish that out anyway. I didn't put when we went to bed that night. You know, cause when I'm camping, I'm taking care of like keeping track of things in three journals instead of two. So I don't, oh, I don't always get exactly done what I want, but. That's how it goes. But yeah, this one, this one actually goes really nice here. I like that. And maybe I can find something small for the other side. Oh yeah. These things that are, you know, this margarine best scene, her calendar is so pretty. 
Next year, I don't know if I'm gonna do a daily. I, I have a feeling I probably don't need to. So I might not. I really wanna put this in here. And I can cover this up because this was just menu ideas. So it doesn't matter if, if it's covered at this point. It's not something I need now. So we'll just go like that. It was just my menu. All right. Then, okay, that looks good. Oh, it looks like we had some space right here. So I just need one thing to go in there. Nothing major. Maybe this. This would be good. I'll just take down some of the one of the sides so it fits. So if I ever have to go back, you know, for notes, I can find I can find what I'm looking for. something else okay and then we have this not a whole lot going on in here either obviously but we'll just find a couple of pretty things to scoot on these pages as well I kind of feel like that would be a good one and this one we'll just kind of oh or this one kind of keep them Not sure, maybe that. Okay, let's go with that. So this one, we can just cut off the extra. I just wanna get this done. And then this one, we'll just do this side keep the other side the way it is like this okay that looks good all right let's get this one on I hope when we go camping in two weeks that the weather is not as hot as it's been I'm really hoping it cools down a little bit for us so that it's not miserable the good thing is this place where we're camping, there's shade and we are right on the lake, on a lake. So our site is right on a lake, which is good because otherwise it can get pretty nasty. This is when it's good to have a trailer where you have um, air conditioning. All right, I am almost done. We just have really a little bit, some pages, so. Trying to figure out what I wanna do. I like this, I could put this here. Um, let's see. Ooh, I love that. It's a fun one. So I'm thinking I can do two things on this page, maybe, if I'm careful. Let's see what we can do. So we'll leave this border like this. I was gonna do study today. Um, I have a book report that's due tomorrow. But then I was like, you know what? I can get that book report done tomorrow. I've already read everything. I just need to write it. And it's it's not huge. It's 1,200, wait, 1,500 to 1,800 pages. So I think I can actually... Um, do it 
and get it done. Because I'm working from home and the workload at this point doesn't look horrible, so I should be able to get that done. I do have a um, women's group in the evening. The papers do at midnight, but I should be done before. The only thing I have to do besides work tomorrow is laundry, so I think um, I will be just fine. Okay, I like that. That turned out cute. And then this, we just need to trim down the edge. And I think that's a nice one too. And then we're about done. Yeah, summer just gets crazy. It's not like winter, you know, it's just busy and I don't end up having time to you know, doing my videos on a regular basis. Um, but I'm sure you guys understand that. And I'll do what I can. Oh, dear. Ugh. I think I better use some powder. No. Ugh. Okay. For the sticky. Definitely. Okay, good. All right, anything else? This, nope, very full. This, we don't, I'm not gonna try and squeeze anything else in. I'm not even gonna worry about that because it really is hard to get anything else in a, some of these spaces. Like, sometimes I have stuff that would fit, but then it doesn't necessarily go with what I've got already. So, I'm just taking a quick look through my papers. I do have some pinks and yellows and some pretty stuff, but yeah. Because I have, um, let me move this paper. I'm gonna grab this one. I do have this. And I feel like I could totally add a little bit more here. So I'm gonna try and see if it'll work. Since I do have some time. Yeah, no. See how difficult that is. And then, then it looks just really crowded, doesn't it? So no. And here, this is the week coming. This is today. I could just put that there and that'll make it kind of a happy thing to look at tomorrow. So I will do that. Uh, but I think that's all. Yeah. All right, all right. Perfect. I think we're done. Put away some of this stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. Like I said, I just not getting everything in here. More stuff. I mean, I don't know what I've got. Let me see. No, this is for this is for planning. I'm imagining this is all planning. Yeah, I don't see anything here either. Nope. I was just trying to see if maybe I had something else I could put in here. But I don't, don't feel like I necessarily want to use my stickers in some of these spots. Maybe this. I think this would be okay. Just because I like this. And it, it's kind of like that one. And then I could do this one. Because this one is kind of like this. 
Oh yeah. That kind of helps, doesn't it? And then here, because I got one more, I might, might, might as well just use it. Um, I could actually put, let me see, I'm trying to figure out one last spot. Possibly there. Kind of want to see what I did as far as leaving space. Yeah, this is totally coming up. Kind of a mess. I think I could just put it here. All right. Okay, so that's it. The two are done. And thank you so much for watching. And hour and 10 minutes, not bad for me. All right, everybody. Bye and thanks again.